Okay, welcome to this tutorial about a trick I learned during my uh, model of my during my making of the model of the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. It's about mapping a texture to a mirrored object. So let's begin. I'll select everything by with A, press delete to delete. I shift A to add a plane. Uh, seven to get top view and then I'll tab into edit mode press ctrl R to make a, a loop cut I'll select enter to select the loop cut ctrl R again loop cut enter now I can select these shift clicking select these and press delete to delete the vertices okay good so I'll recreate this face uh, by adding a modifier, a mirror modifier. Uh, there's the modifier tab, mirror, and I want to uh, mirror that in the x-axis and also in the y-axis. So, okay, now I have uh, the face or the uh, the square recreated. Uh, good. So I'll go into UV image editor mode and right. Oh, sorry. Uh, we'll go back here. We'll, we want to UV unwrap this. So I'll select everything with A, still in edit mode. Uh, UV mapping, unwrap, unwrap project from view. Okay, so now we go into UV image editor. I'll open a test PNG. This is what it looks like. Uh, I just place the uh, the cursor where I want it since this is a 20 by 48 PNG I'll select I'll place the cursor at uh, 1024 and you can see that this square is already centered or at least that vertices vertice is uh, so now I'll just scale it up I'll select scale pivot point 2D cursor, S to scale, just drag it. Okay, that's good enough. Uh, I'll go back into 3D view. Now let's put a material on this. I can uh, tab to object mode, uh, put a material on it, new. I'll go to cycles render instead, use nodes. I'll make this window a node editor and there's the default material I'll press shift A to add a texture coordinate so we get the UV coordinates there shift A to texture image texture and we'll open the text PNG connect the UV to the vector and the color to the color and we can select texture and you can see what we got here we got a a, a mirrored texture oh sorry we got a mirrored texture here because the object is mirrored so the texture get mir gets mirrored if we go back to UV image editor you can see that this one is mirrored on the x-axis and the y-axis and that's not what I want. I want the entire uh, material uh, unmirrored so to speak. Uh, so we'll go back into the mirror modifier here and you can see we have textures written here. We have U and V. Uh, mirror the U texture coordinates around the 0 0.5 points mirror the V texture coordinates around the 0 0.5 points. So, okay, these are some settings that we can play with. Let's see what they do. Okay, so by clicking the U, we can see that, okay, we get a mirroring effect, and great, this is pretty much what we want, but I can't get the entire one. There's a limitation here. Okay, so you can only mirror in one direction. So this just tells you which direction do you want the material to be mirrored against. Okay, problem. Uh, but 
if we do it like this, if we uh, divide this mirror modifier into two mirror modifiers, I deselect the Y axis right here, and then I'll add, a mod add another mirror modifier, and in the second mirror modifier, I'll add it to the Y direction. Okay, so the first one is good, but the second one still mirrors the first one. Uh, so, we have these to play with, and voila! So, now we have the material, the, uh, uh, the texture map, uh, being applied to a mirrored object. Uh, so this is great if you don't want to uh, apply the mirror modifier. Of course, that's an option if you want to do that, but in my case, I didn't want to apply the mirror modifier. I wanted to keep it mirrored so that even after adding the textures, I could go in and tweak the model a bit. And I can still do that since this is uh, since this is mirrored. Uh, so I, I hope you could follow that. Uh, please hit the like button or uh, give me a comment. Thanks, bye.